curvas. Work. The plank. Hole right in the middle here. I'm going to use my sack on the wall. So I'm going to out. Right there.
little more. Okay, we got our hole cut in to the little plank. Cut some slots. Put one right in the middle, across from the hole. that a little bit, but uh, I might have to adjust it for length. I'm just ready for some sun. Hi guys, Mike here, and uh, as you saw a little earlier, uh, I constructed the pieces I needed to make an Ottomani uh, sun compass uh, using the uh, Ottomani shadow compass using a little stick on a, a little platform. And uh, now today we've got a little bit of sunlight, and uh, I'm going to use it to uh, calibrate this. So that we can use it. And uh, we're going to use the shadow stick method for that. So I picked a fairly flat piece of ground here and I've got a fairly straight stick here with a little bit of a taper at the top and uh, you know, plant that in the ground just a ways. 
and then where we have the tip of our shadow, we've got a couple little pegs. And I'm going to use one of those to mark the tip of that shadow. Like that. And uh, I'll just save the other one until later. And uh, we'll come back after the shadow has moved. And uh, that will establish our east to west line. And then we'll use that to uh, make our mark on our uh, Automani compass. And uh, it should work pretty good. So let's give it a little time and uh, get on to some other things. Okay, guys. It's been uh, about an hour and a half, two hours, uh, long enough anyway to move the shadow uh, of the shadow stick to right here. Now we're going to take our peg, second peg, and uh, find the top of that uh, shadow to be about right there. Okay. Uh, now we're going to get a little piece of uh, jute twine and put between the two pegs and uh, that'll give us a line uh, east to west. And as you can see, we've got a small piece of jute twine between the, the two sticks. And this is establishing our east to west line. Let's check that with a compass. And as you can see, we have uh, very nearly east to west um, because, of course, the compass is showing magnetic north and the uh, shadow stick would be giving us solar north and therefore solar east to west. But that's pretty close. Now let's get on to calibrating our uh, Automani shadow compass or sun compass. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll take the little plank of the Automati compass and I've laid it underneath the string and I'm moving it until it is the tip of the shadow of our pointer just touching the string. And the string is running east to west. So now We'll just make a little mark with a pen on our little plank. And then we'll make another mark down at the other end on the same string. Now we'll just draw a straight line between those two. And uh, our compass should be calibrated. Okay, you can see now that uh, I have the line drawn in pen and if I line up the small platform with the uh, and hang it just right, kind of floating it above the string, you can see now that the compass tells us um, that we are looking at the line running east to west and therefore uh, perpendicular to that towards the pointer would be south. And uh, hanging it by the strings allows us to get kind of a good level yeah, in a surface. It's a little hard to control, so I think I almost prefer laying it right on the ground, but uh, you get the idea. So, fun stuff. And uh, good to have out, uh, give a rough estimate anyway north to south line. Now eventually the shadow is going to move off of the small platform at uh, later times in the day, but uh, for the bulk of the day it's going to work pretty good. All right, well, thanks guys, and uh, I'm going to get on with our hike here. Automati compass. Simple to make uh, for a way to tell east to west, and then north to south. Uh, another thing that uh, I wanted to mention about uh, the compass, and that is that uh, it needs to be calibrated throughout the year, so that eventually there will be uh, several different uh, black lines on this small little plank. Uh, 
but then eventually uh, it will work for most all the seasons. And uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty uh, pretty nice design for uh, uh, just trying to establish uh, your direction. But uh, I'll hang on to it and calibrate it uh, in another couple of months. And uh, we'll see how it works then. All right, Mike out.